Solve for the triangle. B is 42 degrees, A is 12, and C is 15. So we have to use the law of cosines. We do not have a, an angle and corresponding side, which we do not have here. So we have side, angle, side here. All right. Basically, the way you want to start is whatever angle you're given, you want to find its corresponding side, which means we'll be using the second formula here. So let me rewrite this formula. And what we'll do is we'll round to the nearest whole number for the missing part. So since we're trying to solve for little b, put in 12 and for a, put in 15 and for c, and put in 42 degrees for b. What will we need to do to solve for B when this is all said and done? Square root both times, yeah. When you square root an equation, you technically include a plus or a minus. But B is a distance. And for now, we can't have negative distances. Huh. For now, he says. Rounding to the nearest whole number, what do we get for B? Anyone? 10. Good news or bad news? What do you want? Bad news it is. Notice now we have an angle and its corresponding side, so you might be inclined to switch over to the law of sines. You can't do that. Whatever law you start with is the law you end with because, as the book mentioned, you might find yourself in the ambiguous case where you have no triangles or two triangles. Actually, it's the two triangle case. So we have to stick with the law of cosine. All right. So we just found little b to be 10. We know big b, angle b, to be 42 degrees. If we find angle a, then we can just add up a and b to get c by subtracting from 180. Uh, you should technically do the law of cosine for each one, which we're going to do because we like that kind of thing. So let's solve for angle a. So what equation should I use to solve for angle a? The first one. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of angle a. Now, unfortunately, since side b was an approximation, then we're using an approximation to get another approximation. So this is going to be off due to rounding. We found we were given little a to be 12. We found little b to be 10. Approximately little c was 15. And angle a we don't know. So what we get to do next is isolate the cosine of a. Oh my goodness. So to isolate the cosine of A, what do we do with these two numbers? Subtract them. And what do we do with this expression here? Divide. 
So we subtract the squared parts and divide the product parts. Okay? Okay. How often is that going to come up? How many stars are there in the sky? There you go. So after subtracting and dividing as needed, you'll get the cosine of A is 12 squared. Oh, no. 12 squared minus 10 squared minus 15 squared, all over negative 2 times 10 times 15. It's glorious. How do we finish solving for A? Yeah, we're going to do the cosine inverse. Um, then you don't have a triangle, but typically all these are rigged to work. Oh, look at that. Oh, I took a little bit of the 10 there. I have to erase that now. Cute. Even though it's not written, when you throw this into your calculator, what should you put around the numerator and denominator? Yep. Not the letter O, but you should put parentheses. I got 53. You tell me. Yep. So cosine inverse. Parenthesis, parenthesis, the entire numerator, and your parenthesis, divide by the entire denominator in parenthesis. Since B, side B is 10 and the angle is 42, and side A is 12, then the answer has to be bigger than 42. All right, while we're here, let me erase the top part. What I would like you to do is set up for C, angle C. What do we get for C with C15? A was uh, 12. B was 10. Oh, I forgot my 2 here. All right. So, solving for angle C, you're going to get C is the cosine inverse. That's side B. Angle B is 42. Make a distinction between the uppercase and lowercase. 15 squared minus 10 squared minus 12 squared, all over negative 2 times 12 times 10. So we're going to take the cosine inverse of all of that. I got 85. Which, if we added up the 42 and the 53 and subtracted from 180, we would have got an 85. Oh, we did all this extra work. Nope. It's good practice.